What's going on guys? In today's video, we're gonna talk about is help desk roll enough to get your foot in the door into cybersecurity? Guys, I got a friend along for the video today. Her name is Marble. Um, she is a white face cinnamon cockatiel. So say hi to her and she'll be hanging out with us throughout this video. So a lot of times I get the question from my viewers asking a pretty basic question. I mean, I think it, it is an intelligent question to be asking yourself. If you get into a help desk role, is that going to expand your chances to get into cybersecurity? And I think it's a smart question to ask. And I think that there's a little bit to unpack here. Um, and it's also uh, something that I have recommended for the majority of my career now in security for those who are asking. Let's talk about what it takes to get into a help desk role and then how you can transition that into a cybersecurity role. All right, first of all, why is it important to get a help desk role before you get into security? Well, there's two major reasons. Now, I'll be honest with you, I did not get into a help desk role before security, but I can also be honest in the fact that it made it 10 times harder to get your foot into security. So if you're somebody who's looking for the right steps to go forward, I wish, I wish somebody, somebody would have told, told me this, this when I was trying to get into security. You wanna make sure that you have the foundation of help desk. And what is it gonna do? It's gonna give you basic fundamental knowledge about things like networking, a little bit of system administration. She's also like system administration. And you're also gonna be able to learn how to do things like tickets and how to work through tickets, escalate tickets. This is all fundamental stuff, guys. When you get to cybersecurity, you're expected to know this stuff already. So that's why it is good to have this kind of knowledge and not only is that knowledge important but it looks good on the resumes and it shows that you have a real life experience of what it's like in the workforce working in it now you might ask yourself what does it take to get into the help desk role if this is going to be good for me to get into cybersecurity? what's it take for me to get into help desk in general well, I usually recommend folks trying to get into help desk do two things. Get your associate's degree in computer science, anything computer related, and then also get your A plus certification. This is gonna give you a good baseline of what you'll be doing in a help desk role from day to day so that you can show any type of employer that you have a little bit of knowledge pertaining to the job. I think those two things are really gonna help you to get into the field of IT, specifically a help desk role. As an MSP, you always put your client's cybersecurity first, and that's why I'm gonna recommend guards. If you work in IT, like me, then you know how time consuming it is jumping around 20 different point solutions to manage and detect vulnerabilities within your client's business. It can be a huge pain. That's where guards comes in. Guards is a unified cybersecurity platform built especially for MSPs just like you to protect your small businesses in a single pane of glass. No more hopping around different screens and paying for multiple solutions. Isn't that a real relief? From automated detection and response across user data, devices, emails, and cloud directories to ensure coverage, MSPs can confidently rely on guards to simplify the complexity of cybersecurity. This, in turn, is allowing your clients to focus on what matters most. This product is tailored for MSPs like your organizations. It's given you AI security and security solutions like endpoint security, email security, security awareness, cloud data protection, you name it. There's just no reason you should continue in your cybersecurity tool hopping from different panes of glass. Just embrace the future. Guards just makes the day-to-day -day cybersecurity work more effective and efficient. So start your free trial of guards today with the link in the description down below. 
Now, I brought up the A plus certification by CompTIA. That certification is around $250. Um, it's not a lot of money at all for certifications. I understand that for somebody in college, that's a lot of money. Um, so it's maybe something worth investing or maybe save up for it, put a little bit away while you're getting your associate's degree so that you could take that A plus at the end of your associate's degree. Now, in this fashion, you'll be done your associate's degree, then done your A plus, you'll be moving on to your bachelor's degree for your cybersecurity role one day, and you'll be able to start applying for different help desk roles out there. It's going to get your foot into the door so that you have the experience necessary to build upon to get into cybersecurity. So 100%, it's gonna benefit you. So if you're contemplating, oh, I don't wanna do help desk and you know, I just wanna go right into cybersecurity, just be patient. IT is a stepping stone and it's okay to start where everybody else starts for the most part. And like I said, there's some few cases out there where people get right into cybersecurity, but it's harder that way. And if you wanna get yourself the best chance, then you wanna do this route first. And the last thing I really wanted to talk about is how it's gonna set you apart, right? So. When you go into the field of cybersecurity, you're surrounded by people who have had experience before cybersecurity. They didn't just jump into cybersecurity. 90% of people that are in the field have worked themselves up into the position. So it's going to benefit you to show that you have some experience doing other kind of lower level IT work. And it's going to really set you apart from the rest of the applicants. Because, for instance, if you have your A plus and you have your um, bachelor's degree, plus you have some real life knowledge in a help desk role and you're going up against somebody like me when I was out of college, which is just somebody with a bachelor's degree and no real life work experience, you're gonna get the job nine times out of 10 because you have applied yourself the further step of getting into a help desk role. So keep that in mind, guys. It's not just for the knowledge, it's because you really are setting yourself apart when it comes to applicants and getting yourself into the role. As always, this is just part of my sure way plan, I call it, to get into cybersecurity that I always recommend for people. If you're brand new and you're, you're wondering, what do I do? Certifications, degree, boot camp, what's the best option for me? This is it. I'm telling you now, get your associate's degree, get your A+, get a help desk role, finish your bachelor's degree, and then start applying for cybersecurity jobs. After you've already attained some kind of help desk role or a system administration role, um, whether that be junior or you know just regular system admin, this is the best route for you to get into cybersecurity. Just my personal opinion, guys. Everybody has their own opinion. This is just my personal opinion on the matter. I really hope that this video has helped you guys understand more clearly if Help Desk is for you and what you're looking to do in IT. And I'm also hope that you guys have liked uh, Marble joining us for this video. Uh, as you see, she never really calms down. She's always walking around everywhere exploring. So uh, look out for more content with her, guys. And I will catch you guys in the next video. I'll see you later.